So how do you get your staff to write their own SOPs? And you do need to get your staff to write their SOPs because if you write your SOPs for your staff, they're not going to follow them. You can say, here's a process that we have, and if you want to use this, you can use this. But staff do not follow an SOP that you write for them. They just don't, and they never will, and they never have. And you can't think of a single example where you have followed someone else's SOP step by step by step. And this is, you have to be realistic with this. So how do you get your staff to do them? So your staff's objection to writing an SOP is one, it takes time and they can't be bothered. And two, they think that you're going to use this SOP to replace them and you will. Uh, if you don't have SOPs written down for your staff and they you know, leave, that's an absolute fucking catastrophe. So you want to really avoid that. But you're, that's not something that's going to motivate yourself to want to do it. So an easy way is just telling them, look, I want you to draft out you know, for 10 minutes, for 5 to 10 minutes, just basic first draft of the process you go by, the step-by-steps of how you complete this task. And I want you to do this so that we can work together to see how this can be improved so that it can make it faster for you and easier for you. Okay? Your staff don't necessarily give a shit if something's going to make the business more profitable, but if it makes their job easier and if it makes the task they do better and if it makes the task they do faster, then that's something that they could, any staff, even the worst employee that you hire, that you've accidentally hired, that's something they can actually get behind. So if you include that as the pitch and say, you know, let's, I want to help you make this thing better, let's, you know, help make it faster, less energy, uh, let's you know, decrease the likelihood that you're making any mistakes. And your staff do not enjoy making mistakes. You know, they, they panic as much as anyone else would. So that's another bonus. And yeah, so if you use those as the way you pitch it, you don't just say, make this fucking SOP. You say, I want this to work together and then just 10 minutes and then assign it to them due soon. And as their number one most important task, I want you to spend 10 minutes on doing this. I want this your number one most important task. Make that clear. And then when the task is due, I follow them up. How did it go? Blah, blah, blah. And if they said they didn't do it, so what was my most important task? So what happened? What was it that interfered that you didn't have 10 minutes to write it down? But don't expect the first draft to be anything stunning. It's probably going to be a piece of shit. That's fine. Work with them on that first draft, and you'll be able to point out pretty obvious gaps, like is that actually the first step? And shouldn't there be a review step at the very end? And... After you know, a couple more, all right, now do the second draft, do the third draft. Now you have something pretty good, and I bet you've already improved the process significantly. So I work with a client uh, who did this, and he had all of his staff do that, and really fairly basic mistakes were able to be fixed basically permanently. There's you know, just little communication errors, like who is technically responsible for this and when should the handover occur and things like that. But that's only going to be possible unless you have, when you have your staff write down what they actually do. And when they write down what they actually do, you see where the gaps are, as opposed to if you wrote it down, you don't see where the gaps are. So give it a try and let me know how you go.